hell of a year, man. I'm going to bring those boys back. Yes, sir. I'm good. I'll be good. Thank you. Going, man. Appreciate you, man. This team has given the Jacksonville fan base a great run. And you finally realize this year that the future is bright. Twenty twenty two was a new beginning for the Jacksonville Jaguars. What a throw by Trevor Lawrence. That is Say Jones with a fantastic catch. Inside hand off to Travis Etienne into the end zone. Touchdown. Way to go win the game. Yes, Stay aggressive go win the game. Yes, sir. A new coach took the team from the bottom to the top. The ball comes down and it's picked up. The Jags are running it back. The Jags win the AFC South. It was a season filled with grit. He's going to get sacked by the Jaguars. Trayvon Walker got him. It was a season defined by resilience. They have come back. In 2022, the NFL learned what the Duval faithful already knew. It was always the Jags. Jaguars Department of Defense was led by defensive coordinator Mike Caldwell, who helped establish a no-fly zone. Fires left side, that ball is going to be intercepted by Tyson Campbell. Under Caldwell, the Jaguars led the NFL with 96 passes defensed. Looking, fires downfield, that ball is tipped and intercepted. Andre Sisco picks it off after the deflection inside the 40, inside the 30-yard line, along the right sideline. Andre Sisco, that's a pick six. Touchdown, Jacksonville! Nice job, defense! Nice job! That way! A key member of the defense was Josh Allen, who led the Jaguars in sacks. Josh Allen got him at the 29-yard line. The Jaguars' defense made it hell on earth for the Colts in Jacksonville's home opener. He's hit as he lets it go. They're going to hit him. They're going to sack him. Ryan, he gets hit. He is going to get sacked. The Colts suffered the pain of five sacks and three interceptions. Fires, that ball is going to be intercepted. Fires deep downfield. That's overthrown. Another interception. Dropping is Trevor. Looking. Fires middle of the field. Caught by Kristen Kirk. Leads toward the end zone. Touchdown. Trevor Lawrence threw two touchdown passes to Christian Kirk, and the shutout gave Doug Peterson his first win as head coach. Congratulations. Told you guys you were going to win this game, and you did. Congratulations, everybody in the room. Okay? Yeah, I, mean, I, can't, I can't say enough. Jacksonville's defense continued to dominate in week three. The Jaguars held the Chargers offense to 26 rushing yards and kept Los Angeles to a season-low 10 points. Herbert throws it out to the left side. That ball is picked off. It is tipped and then picked off by the Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence threw three touchdown passes, and Jacksonville snapped an 18-game road losing streak. Rolling right is Trevor, firing toward the end zone. Touchdown! Dropping is Trevor, looking. Fires corner of the end zone. That ball is caught for the touchdown. What a dominating performance by the Jacksonville Jaguars. As you guys know, that's a good football team. Mm -hmm. They're a really good football team, okay? Uh, but listen, we're a good football team, too. Yeah, yeah. We're a good football team. In his first season as head coach, Doug Peterson immediately made an impact. Finish the play, man. These are full speed reps. These aren't 50%. After going 3-14 in 2021, the Jaguars tripled their win total, 
won the AFC South and became the first team in NFL history to finish with the worst record one season and win a playoff game the following year. Hey, let's go get another one now. Don't stop, right? Don't stop. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Keep those boys rolling now. And we welcome you to TIAA Bank Field. Jaguars Raiders, here we go. Stays on. He's going to run for it. First down and more. Stays on his feet. Into Raiders territory. Terrific run by Trevor Lawrence. I'll take six. I'll take six. Yeah, come on. Keep coming. I played better when you hit me, 52. I like it. I'm kind of messed up. Trevor Lawrence can take the pain, and he can dish it out, even when facing a 17-point deficit. He's going to run it, 40, 35, 30 along the left sideline. Good run by Trevor Lawrence. He'll convert the first down. You got to get this one, boys. Let's go. High snap. He handles it to give to ATN toward the goal line. Touchdown. That's it. Good. We're fine. Next play. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's win it. Let's be great right here. Trevor fires right corner to the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. Let's go. Trevor Lawrence to Christian Kirk for the score. Great move, baby. Let's go. Great route. That was an easy completion for Trevor Lawrence. Hey, let's punch it in. Snap it quickly. Pitch it to the right. This is ATS. Inside the five. Into the end. Get it, man. Love you, bro. Great job. What a win for the Jaguars. The 17-point comeback is the second largest in team history. Lawrence and the Jaguars also shined in a Week 12 showdown with the Ravens. Trevor drops the throw. Fires downfield. That's Hasty along the right sideline. Jamal Hasty into the end zone. Touchdown. Trevor drops. Fires right side. Jamal Agnew into the end zone. Touchdown. Trailing by seven with two minutes remaining, Trevor Lawrence had his sights on another Jacksonville comeback. Four-man rush, Trevor drops, fires deep downfield, that ball is caught by Zay Jones, he's touched down to the 10-yard line. 20 seconds to play, the clock turns, Trevor drops, fires toward the right corner of the end zone, that ball for two and Doug Peterson is going to go for the win oh wow shotgun for Trevor he looks fires left side of him caught 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 Zay Jones catches it the two-point conversion is good the Jaguars win it what a win for Jacksonville come on come on come on come on we go let's go let's go in his second season, quarterback Trevor Lawrence emerged as the leader of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Look, you got to play with confidence, right? Oh, I got you. Lawrence set a franchise record with 387 completed passes. And with the help of offensive coordinator Press Taylor, the Jaguars scored over 400 points in 2022. I mean, that ball could not have been thrown any better. That's a franchise quarterback if I've ever seen one. Let's go, baby. Nice yeah, job. Hey, great job. Lawrence and the offense seemed unstoppable against the Titans in Week 14. Tight end Evan Ingram had a career-high 162 receiving yards on 11 catches. That ball's caught by Evan Ingram to the five. Into the end zone. Touchdown. That's a touchdown for Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence threw for a career-high 368 yards that included three touchdowns. That ball is going to be caught for the touchdown by Evan Ingram. The Peterson-led Jaguars beat the Titans in Nashville for the first time since 2013. What a performance by Jacksonville. Let's go. It was always the Jags. Jacksonville's aerial assault continued in week 15. Trevor drops. 
Looks, fires, that ball's gonna be caught, into the end zone, touchdown! Rolling right, looking down, Phil Fires got a man down there, Zay Jones is down there, makes a catch at the 20, inside the 15, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown, Jacksonville! The defense made an impact as well. Prescott dropping a throw against a four-man rush. He's going to have to scramble out of there. Jags are going to hit him as he let it go. That ball is intercepted. So we win as the Jaguars and we lose as the Jaguars. And the only way we're going to come back is as the Jaguars. Down by 17 in the second half, the Jaguars once again displayed their Duval determination and mounted a comeback. Fires into the back of the end zone. The ball's caught. 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 Touchdown, Zay Jones. for Riley Patterson. The kick is up, and the kick is good! Overtime, here we go. Got a big, big overtime! Pass back, Florida! Look over, let's go! Yeah, you gotta be built for this! Gotta get a stop here. Prescott, he drops the throw. Looking, looking, fire fill of the field, and that ball is... Picked off by Rayshon Jenkins. He's running it back along the right sideline. But it's going to be a touchdown. The Jags are going to win it on a Rayshon Jenkins pick six. Are you kidding me? How good is that? A rain-soaked field in week 16 made for some slippery situations. Quarterback sneak dives toward the end zone, touchdown! Now the Jets end up knocking it out of his hands. Too but late though. It's too late, it's already a touchdown. A suffocating defense kept the Jets out of the end zone, and the Jaguars left the Big Apple with a victory. He's gonna get sacked. Andre Sisko got him, winning his front. The Jags came in here and took care of business. That's what happened tonight. All right, hey, all right, so now let's let's talk about this. With their record at seven and eight, the Jaguars had put themselves in position for a playoff push. Jags start from their 38. They go left to right here. Inside handoff, Travis Etienne. He's in the open field, 40. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! 62 yards, an explosive run by ETN. Empty backfield, dropped and throws Davis Mills. Throws it out to the left side. That ball came out. That ball has come out there. Tyson Campbell picks it up. He's going to run it into the end zone for the touchdown! Josh Allen gets credit for a sack, caused fumble, and then the pickup, scoop and score by Tyson Campbell. Jacksonville led 21 to nothing at halftime, and their fourth win in a row set up a showdown for the AFC South in Week 18. They're now 8-8. Eight and eight. They play the biggest home game in a long, long time next week. It's a special moment. We worked hard to get to this moment right now. Yo, let's embrace it. All right, let's go take it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Dominate let's go, on three. Man. One, two, three. Dominate. It doesn't get much bigger than this. The AFC South title's on the line, which will automatically give the winner a playoff berth. In front of a sellout crowd of over 70,000, the Jaguars were at full capacity and full throttle. And a great return by Jamal Agnew. Play fake, rolling to the right. Trevor Lewis wants to throw it back to the left side. Fires toward the corner, the end zone. Caught for the touchdown, Christian! Trailing by three in the fourth quarter, and with a spot in the playoffs on the line, Jacksonville dug deep and pounced. Biggest play of the game right here. 
shotgun for Dobbs. He drops. It's a blitz. An all-out blitz. They hit him as he lets it go. The ball comes out. The ball comes out and it's picked up. The Jags are running it back. The Jags are running it back. The Jags are going to run it into the end zone. Josh Allen scores a touchdown. Josh Allen is running back for a touchdown for Jacksonville. How about this defense making gigantic plays? Jaguars are going to win this thing on a defensive play by Josh Allen. Let's go. Congrats. Let's go. We go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The Jaguars had won their fifth straight game and were once again rulers of the AFC South. That game right there was our season. Right? There were ups, there were downs, and now there's celebration. You know, you're AFC South champs, baby. Packed house at TIAA Bank Field. It's a great atmosphere. All the towels flying around. Anything can happen. What a great opportunity for the Jaguars. Oh! Hey, come on, man. You got this. Well, let's go handle let's go business. Let's go. Play fake. That ball is batted in. It is going to be picked off. The Jaguars' wildcard playoff game had a rough start that only got worse. And a break for Los Angeles, an interception on the second play of the game. Fires, that ball's caught, and that is going to be a touchdown. Kicks it up, knocks it right through there. The lead is now 27 to nothing. The Chargers lead the Jaguars at a very quiet TIAA bank field. Hey, kicking our ass. Untainted. Adversity was something Jacksonville had dealt with all season, and it was something they had overcome. Herbert dropped the throw. He's going to get hit. He's going to get sacked. Josh Allen got him. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, man. It's only a second quarter. Let's go on a roll. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. One play, though. Can't get it all back in one play. It's so one play at a time. 28 seconds to play in the half. Looking. Fires back in the end zone. That ball is going to be caught for the touchdown by Evan Ingram. And the Jags get on the board late in the half. All right, well, that's a start. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Keep the lead. Keep the lead. Third and goal from the six-yard line. Dropping. Trevor looking, looking, looking. Fires toward the back of the end. The ball's going to be caught for the touchdown. In a ball game, boys. Go. So keep fighting. You've been having an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. We're in the part of a lot of comeback, baby. And it's going to be one tonight. Trevor looking. Fires deep down. Got a man wide open. Zay Jones hits the And there is not a charger anywhere close to him. Same way we stay the same. We're getting our ass kicked. Stay the same right now. Let's go. Jags trail 30 to 20. Looking. Fire for the right corner of the end zone. And that ball is caught for the touchdown. Christian Kirk. Oh, boy. We got a ball game. The last four times the Jaguars have had the football, they have scored a touchdown. We've got a penalty flag on the field. Jags are going to go for two here from the one-yard line. Trevor drives to the end zone. It is good. It's a 30 to 28 game. They have roared back from a 27-point deficit. How good is that? Facing a fourth and one with 128 remaining. Doug Peterson's faith in his team was undeniable. My heart can't take this. So here we go. Gigantic play here. They run the ball with ETN, tries to get the corner. He does. What a play caller this guy is. He got it to the 16 yard line. I love it. Love it. Three seconds left. A field goal wins the game for you here. You got it. Come on, Riley. 36-yarder from the right hash to win the game. What a moment. 
Puts it down. Patterson's kick is up. The field goal is good! 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 The Jaguars have won it! The Jaguars have won it! They have come back from 27 nothing to win the game and move on! How good is that? you got to love this team. you got to love Doug Peterson and what he's built in the culture. These guys never That's how you do it. We never had a no fight, family. Let's go get this. Let's go. Come on. Jacksonville completed a 27 point comeback, the largest in franchise history, and the third largest in NFL playoff history. That gives me like chills. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Oh, wow. This is the first time. They've run it. You have a band, have you? Heading into 2023, the Jacksonville Jaguars are one of the hottest teams in the NFL. Go win it. Yep, go win it. In 2022, the Jaguars completed comebacks of 17 points or more three times and won six of their last seven games. Going to be caught for the touchdown. It's a process. Stick to the process, okay? And stick with one another. Great things will happen to this football team. Mm -hmm. That I can guarantee. It was always the Jags in 2022, and it will always be the Jags moving forward.